Hello, welcome back. What I'm doing today is another one of my pull lists that I get from Discount Comic Book Service. I'll be calling them DCBS from now on. Alright, uh, if you're watching for the first time, you might be wondering, why is he getting these comics so late? Well, I can only get the monthly package since I live in Japan. Alright, so yeah, I get them as soon as I can through DCBS. Let's get right down to it. Got a box of, uh, it says on the cover here it's going to be 37 comics. Yeah, they filled it with, uh, instead of the regular two pieces of, uh, foam on the corners, uh, it's with regular packing peanuts. Yeah, you can see that. So let's just start on the first package. I probably will be saying some spoilers, so if you haven't read any of these comics, uh, just beware. I, I might say something about the past issue or something like that. Here we got, uh, this is number nine of uh, Harrow County. You really should be reading this comic. It is a horror story, but some of the thought that goes into this is just so amazing. So much depth, uh, so much character into it uh, that just goes, goes beyond even horror. Uh, this is a really great comic you should be reading, Harrow County. It's from a Dark Horse Comics. Pretty cool cover there. This is uh, the Dark and Bloody uh, issue number one. So it looks like some dude chewing on feathers, some blood coming out, skull down there. Yeah, I have no, I have no idea what to expect from this. I really haven't read anything about it. I just thought uh, I'd give it a chance. It's a, it's a Vertigo comic. Uh, this is number one. Here we got, this is uh, the Neil Adams variant for Flash number 49. I'm not really a fan of pretty much any of these Neil Adams covers. I mean, yeah, they were all just uh, copies of other covers. Uh, something I, I really, really don't like about it. But, I mean, uh, nothing to do with the story at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, Flash number 49. This is Daredevil. This is issue number four. All right. Uh, not much to say, but yeah, it's a pretty good comic. I really like where they're going with the, the villain and his sidekick. Uh, oh, it looks like uh, Captain America's coming up in there. So yeah, uh, I am enjoying Daredevil quite a lot. Uh, this is the hip-hop variant for Avengers Standoff, Welcome to Pleasant Hill. I don't know, I, I picked up this first one. I don't I don't know if I'm going to follow along. I'll see how, how, how it goes, but uh, I, I'm not I'm not expecting anything. Okay, here I got, uh, this is from 451 Comics. This is Ex Mortis. This is issue number four. It's a good read. Here I have uh, Old Logan number two. Look, I actually, uh, I read this issue already. I forgot that I had gotten it, and so I picked it up somewhere else, and I really enjoyed it. This is another must-read comic. This is Descender number 10. Uh, I'm really, really liking this. Uh, we see that uh, Dustin Nguyen, Nguyen, maybe that's how you pronounce his name? We've been seeing him doing a lot of stuff uh, recently, some co different covers and uh, some different art for other books. Uh, I really like his like you know watercolor style that's going on in here, and the story is just a soul blow away. It's wicked good. Here we have Black Knight number four. I said before that I really do like where they're going with Weird Weird World in most respects. I'm really not a fan of the Uncanny Avengers team right now, but when they're when they came in here and started fighting Black Knight, uh, I really did like that. Okay. Number three books you should be reading right now is Black Science. There is a lot of, uh, like, kind of st strange sci-fi stuff going on in comics right now. But uh, this, has been, this has been going on for a little while. But uh, this really blows all that other stuff out of the water. This is Black Science number 20. Here we have the crossover series Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is issue number three. Uh, yeah, I love Ninja Turtles. Meeting up with Batman's pretty cool. Uh, Michelangelo's attitude this whole time, uh, seeing his Batman as like a totally uh, kick butt uh, hero when they're trying to find out if it's good or bad, is t it's been pretty funny the whole time. For what it is, I'm enjoying it. Uh, this is num issue number three. And here we have Power Man and Iron Fist, issue number one. I've heard really good things about it. I haven't read this issue yet, uh, so yeah, I have heard really good things about it, so I'm really interested to see where this one's going to go. Another package here. I like this peanut dust on me. Here I have Flash number 48. This is the coloring book variant. 
I thought it was a pretty cool drawing for a co for a cover. Uh, and yeah, if you when you open it up, the regular cover is uh, still right under it. So uh, there was yeah, actually no reason not to get this coloring book variant cover. I got Uncanny X Men number three, and I think this is a really kick butt Magneto cover. Look at what he has there with blood on his hands. Probably his team members' blood, right? Here I have uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 54. Here I have uh, Justice League number 48. This is the Dark Side War part 8. I'm a real big fan of Dark Side War right now. I really like Anti Monitor and uh, the fact that the Dark Side has just died, and we'll see seeing what has happening to Apocalypse uh, after that and what repercussions that has for, uh, for the heroes. Everyone is probably giving this a chance. Uh, not much to say about it really. It's Dark Knight 3. This is issue number 3. Just, I think here this is number 4. The book you should be reading if you're not. This is Saga. This is number 34. Not, that's a, my number one of all, but the fourth one in this video. Next I have a very cool cover of Darth Vader. This is number 16. I'm really liking where this is going. Way much better than the Star Wars comic itself. I'm really liking this story here. Uh, the characters and the androids are uh, really, really exceptional characters. Really written very well, I think. This comic right here, the Twilight Zone, this is the uh, discount comic book service or DCBS uh, variant from uh, Dynamite Comics. This is number one. I picked it up. It was like, I think it was like 75 or 80 cents. So I figured, yeah, why not? This, this is also a comic that I picked up for really cheap. Uh, there was a pretty big discount on there on DCBS and yeah I haven't been reading much about Valiant and everybody's saying how good the lineup is right now so it's, it was cheap I'll give it a chance this is Eternal Warrior number one from Valiant Comics one more that I got for really cheap this series is really cool uh, if you haven't uh, checked it out at, at least check it out it's pretty cool this is Hercules this is issue number one I think uh, Five is the last issue that came out. I'm really enjoying where this is going with uh, with a character I really had not much interest at all before. Uh, so surprisingly, I am liking this. So I picked it up on clearance on it from DCBS. Pretty good. Oh, another one I picked up. This was like seriously like maybe fifty cents or something. This is from quite a while ago. This was I think when like Forever Evil was was going on and they were going through uh, doing uh, the like villain cover or villain stories like backstories for each of these. So this is the uh, the Justice League of America seven point four. This one is uh, not some cheap discount comic that I got or not yet uh, but this is uh, devolution number two uh, I got number one last time it's a new series uh, by Rick Remender from dynamite publishing uh, so uh, I really enjoyed issue number one uh, I, I do like the covers by uh, what's his name Jay Lee humans have de-evolved uh, and there's a few still normal humans that are fighting back that's pretty cool. Okay, here we got the third package. Here I have another Neil Adams variant for, and this one is for Batman number 49. Uh, yeah, once again, it's, uh, I think it's the colors that I don't like. And even I read uh, The Coming of the Superman, this, the new one by Neil, that Neil Adams doing. Even that, like something is really off about the colors to me. Evil Dead 2, Tales of the Ex Mortis. This is issue number three, an anthology horror type of thing. So with the with Ash and the Necronomicon as a host, I guess. Mostly the Necronomicon. But uh, yeah, I thought it, it's yeah, very funny in places, uh, disturbing in others. Oh, yeah, I like it a lot. Here we have Swamp Thing number two. A six part series, I think. Good things going this way. All right, this comic, yeah, I'm... Kind of, I've lost interest in it. Uh, I really have. I've lost interest in Survivor's Club. Uh, I will, you will not see this in my pull list anymore. It just wasn't uh, dynamic enough for me to keep continuing, even though it is in the horror vein. Uh, another comic, uh, yeah, we're hearing pretty good things about, uh, is a Spider-Man number one. So we have Miles Morales, Spider-Man in here. Kind of silly. I like it. It's in the horror vein. Uh, it's not taking itself too seriously. Uh, this is the Howling Commandos of S.H.I.E.L.D. This is issue number five. 
Uh, here we have uh, Star Wars. This is issue number 16. Uh, looks like there's going to be a Leia Organa story coming up. She's going to be rescuing people from jail, is what I hear uh, is happening in here. Um, yeah. Okay, this is number five. Comics you should be reading. Paper Girls. This is issue number five. Ooh, five. Yeah, top. Yeah, whatever. I don't think. Hijinks ensue. You should pick this up. Here we have something you haven't seen in my pull list in a little while. Uh, just, I guess, out of the blue, I picked it up again. Uh, of course, I have been reading it, but uh, this is Nailbiter. This is issue number 20. It's a pretty interesting story about a town that breeds serial killers. Doctor Strange number 5. I think it was a little slow picking up, uh, but uh, I think th it could go very good directions with the end of Magic coming up. Uh, I hope it is, because I ordered like... <laughs> uh, like the next five issues that pertain to uh, this little story arc here. All right. Here I have another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is issue number 55. So I, I'm really pumped whenever I can get two issues of Ninja Turtles in a row. I can see it. Well, of course, I just sit down and plow through them right away. But it, uh, it is pretty cool to have, uh, have two come in, in a month in my, in my package. Issue number 15 of He-Man and the Eternity War. All right, uh, I, last month I said I didn't like He-Man and Skeletor's new look now that they're super powered up. That hasn't changed. Story's not bad. I just really don't like the super bulk up changes that had to happen for He-Man and Skeletor for them to, you know, to, for them to show that they had all this power. Lastly, this is a book that I was skeptical about, but now I'm really liking it. Uh, and this is, this is Uncanny Human Inhumans. This is number five. All new Inhumans, I don't like that at all. This book uh, so far has really uh, surprised me, uh, and I really do like it a lot. Uh, it ended a little sooner than I want with Kang, but it uh, looks like it could be a, a bigger player in a little while. This is one comic I was surprised about, and then I will be picking up regularly, definitely. Well, all right, there you have it. Those are the comic books that I have gotten from DCBS for the month of March. Uh, if you are looking for any books to read, please take a look at my other videos, my other pull lists, uh, other comic books that I've picked up over the past few months, and I've recently started talking about some older back issues that I think are important. Right, make sure you check all those out as well. If you liked the video, yeah, please uh, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you don't gotta do anything. But either way, just, just subscribe. Right, yeah, that's gonna be all for me. So thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.